Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carla Smith and I trust that you are all doing well. And yes, I know there is a lot that is happening in our world today. And it is my prayer that you would all be at peace. And that is the peace that is found in Philippians 4 verse 7. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And peace being a state of mind where you're able to just be still and at rest because you have a disposition, a quiet disposition, a knowing within that there is a power that is far greater than any storm. And that power being God Almighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that he has promised to never leave nor forsake us. Amen. And I'm reminded of an account in the Gospel of Mark where Jesus said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. And so they all boarded a ship to cross over to the other side. And shortly after, Jesus fell asleep. And then a storm arose and the winds started to toss the ship to and fro and back and forth. And it filled the ship with a lot of water and the disciples became fearful, rightfully so. And so they woke Jesus up and said, Master, do you not care that we perish? And Jesus awoke and he rebuked the winds and the storm and so on and so forth. And the winds and the storm ceased. Praise be to God. And so I say all of this to say that may you find peace in being close to and knowing the one who is far greater than any storm. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. And so I wanted to begin sharing with you again, be it a word of encouragement, knowledge, experience, testimonies, observations, or different encounters as they relate to the word of God. All right. And so I don't want to necessarily be limited to dreams or prophetic words. I just want to be able to be at liberty to share. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so in like manner, I'd like to share with you what happened with me this past week with an Uber driver, an experience that I had. And so I got into the Uber and the driver was rather friendly. He was very nice. And so we began chatting about various different topics. And of course, we started to talk about our faith. And he's from Ethiopia. And so I asked him what his belief in Jesus Christ was. And he told me that he believes that Jesus Christ is just a prophet. <laughs> and so, of course, I began sharing with him the importance of knowing who Christ truly was and is. And that Christ is the only begotten Son of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he is the begotten Son of God because he was birthed by a virgin, but he was conceived by the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. And I went on to explain to him why the, the, his conception, why the birth of Jesus Christ and his conception was of the utmost importance. And I explained to him that the old Mosaic law stated that without the shedding of blood, that there was no remission or forgiveness of sins. And that's found in Hebrews 9 verse 22. And Christ did not come to do away with the law, but that the law would be fulfilled through him. And that is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. And so the blood of animals was used to atone for sins, but the grace of God provided the perfect offering as God gave his only begotten son as the 
ultimate sacrifice or atonement for sins as the blood of the Son of God was and is pure and holy because it was and is the blood of Almighty God by the power of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. And just an interesting tidbit. Um, biologically, it is only the blood of a father that enters in or flows into and makes up the fetus. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I remember hearing this many years ago by the late Dr. Miles Monroe. And I remember when I heard it and I, I began to dig and, and, and research to find out, you know, is this really so? Because I'm not that well versed in biology or human anatomy and what have you. And so I dug to find this information and I found it. It was readily available and I found it and I was like, wow, God, you are so awesome. We serve such an omniscient God, amen, an all-knowing God. And so this was not by, by chance. This God is so precise, amen, praise the Lord. And so nowadays, if you go digging for this information, you're really going to have to dig because they will, when you research it, you're going to find that they're saying that the fetus can be made up of, um, or the blood of the fetus can be made up of either the, um, the mother or the father's blood type. <laughs> but brothers and sisters, the truth is the truth, no matter how they spin it or what narrative is now popular. But um, it is only the blood of the father that makes up the fetus. Amen. Praise God. And so this is why receiving and accepting and believing Christ and the shedding of his blood for our sins is so vital for without which we have no forgiveness and we are all in need of forgiveness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because I don't know about you all, but I know that I sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the scriptures tell us that we have all sinned as a matter of fact, and we have all come short of the glory of God. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ is pure and holy. Therefore, as our high priest, Jesus is the mediator between us and God. He is the sacrifice that grants us access to a pure and holy God the Father. No man cometh unto the Father but by the Son, who has paid the blood price, atoning for our sins for all those who believe. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, Christ is the bridegroom and we are the bride and he has paid the bride price. He has paid our dowry with his life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I said a brief prayer for this Uber driver before our time ended and the Lord would reveal sorry, that the Lord would reveal himself to him by the power of his Holy Spirit. Amen. You see, without the Spirit of God drawing us and giving us understanding of who Christ is, we too might believe that Christ, Jesus Christ, was only a mere prophet. Matthew 16, verse 13 to 17 states, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he, Jesus, said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, meaning anointed one, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, 
but my Father which is in heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, it is the Holy Spirit of God whom reveals the identity of Christ to us. As John 16 verse 13 states, it is the Holy Spirit that leads us into all truth. Amen. So as the storms are raging all around us, making it crystal clear that we are in the latter end, I pray that you would continue to share Christ with the lost. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal to them who he is. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. I pray that this word was a blessing to you all. I love you all. And God loves you so much more. And until the next time, God bless you all.